and outside the continent. Now, Finland's Prime Minister, or Finland's President, rather, Sauli Ninisto, has confirmed that his country uh, will apply for membership of the NATO military alliance in a historic policy shift prompted by Russia's invasion of Ukraine. Moscow, which shares a 1,300-kilometer border with Finland, has said it would be a mistake for Helsinki to join the 30-strong transatlantic alliance and that it would harm bilateral ties. Sweden is also expected to follow suit as public support for membership has grown amid security concerns. Now, Sunday's announcement comes after Minister and Prime Minister Sanna Marin said they both favored NATO membership, giving a green light for the country to apply. Nenisto called Russian President Vladimir Putin to tell him of his uh, plan to join the alliance. Putin said such a move would hurt Russian Finnish relations. We have reached today an important decision in good cooperation between the government and the President of the Republic. We hope that the Parliament will confirm the decision to apply for NATO membership during the coming days. To be frank, I'm a bit confused because I had a telephone discussion with the President Erdogan, that is approximately a month ago, and um, actually he took up himself before I had a uh, possibility to do that, that you're <clears throat> applying for NATO membership and we will assess it favorable. I thanked him and he was very pleased uh, receiving my thanks. So uh, you can understand that I'm a bit confused. Uh, what we heard uh, uh, two days ago was different. Then yesterday we again heard that uh, uh, Turkey is open to our membership, but it turned back to no, or uh, let's say negative side. I, I think that uh, what we need now is a very clear answer. I'm prepared to have a new discussion with President Erdogan about uh, uh, the problems he has raised. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.